So I see what this one is. This one, you hook the bar. There's a black bar here to it. I've seen the black bar. There's a black bar that has two eyelets on the end that you hook, you put these straps on, right? So then you can sit there and curl them or, or but there's a big black bar here somewhere. Mandy, that's not a bar, it's a weed whacker. It's not even close. He wants 50 for the soldering iron, 50 cash. What are you offering? I'm offering 40. What's it worth? I looked it up, I'm looking to buy them for $80. New for 80? Well, they're on eBay for $80. Used for 80? Yeah. Well, I mean, if Jerry needs it, then I, I don't. I don't need it, use it. You know, one of those things. This hot I'm, ask, I'm, ask, I'm just asking if you want it or not, because what I'm asking it, because he said 50 bucks, we can have it. But, I mean, but, so our normal price would be 24? Yes. No, it'd be 80, so it'd be, my normal price would be 24. Yeah. Yeah, it would. So, now I'm just asking you. They're listed, to sell, <laughs> they're listed to sell for $250. But the only one I can find sold was for 80. Well, Jerry needs it, but. There you go, Jerry. So it's almost done. Is that all garbage? Um, I guess so. This is Walmart. Just gotta stop dealing with this lady. She's saying this is 21 pallets. All right, so like my lesson from earlier, like what, you know, truckloads. Truckloads never come in the way you expect them to. This was 21 pallets from Amazon. Um, you can see in the back, we have the Amazon coffin boxes. That, that's what we are looking for, 21 pallets worth. I knew there would be four boxes per pallet. So that'd mean like, so 21 times four would be 84 boxes. I, I certainly don't see that. I mean, I see Walmart merchandise, a TV stand, which doesn't make any sense. Looks like some, some uh, muscle rollers there. Man, I gotta, I gotta pick my battles, choose my battles and choose my truckloads a little better. I do have some consistent truckloads I'm getting in that work out really well for us, but then I have some that I just keep trying over and over and again. And I mean, we're gonna go through it, we're gonna see what's here, we're gonna see if we're gonna make some money on it and we'll get rolling. So get, get this TV stand out of here. So we're gonna have to just palletize the rest up. But I mean, some of this stuff just doesn't even need its own box. To get first, we get that, that um, TV stand out of there, but I need the two pallets of clothing that's right in front of the, the other bay door, taking over the register too, so that we can get into that bay, okay? All right, go ahead. Well, the, my problem is I bought 21 pallets of Amazon, and I see we got entertainment centers, Walmart. There's a, there's a table in there. I know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just done. I can't buy from that lady anymore. I'm done, I'll let her know. This all says Lakeland, Florida. It's supposed to be picked up in at the uh, Lakeland Amazon. Steam sterilizer. Hmm. Made in China. It's like everything else. There's a bottle sterilizer. I don't know, I really gotta go through all this stuff. I really gotta analyze it. I'm not happy with, I guess I haven't been happy a lot lately. Although I do have my Wayfair and my uh, Ashley furniture load coming in. It's a pet bed. Um, I'm always pretty happy with those loads. My target load, very happy with my target load. I'll buy more of those electronics load. If you haven't watched my $50,000 target load, watch that. You're gonna watch till the end. You're gonna see some incredible stuff that we bought in that target load. That's one of the best loads I've bought in a long time. We're still pricing it and putting it out. Ton of good stuff. Okay, so what are, you, what are you telling me? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> what the hell is that? I 
So this is the stuff that came from the nonprofit. We got like a pet bed, two pet beds, so a bunch of carpets. These are yoga mats. There's about 10 yoga mats in here. You know, so if you think about it, I paid about $60 per box. If I had the full amount of boxes, we got about a thousand yoga mats in this load. They're everywhere, footstools, Hula hoops, a lot of artwork, pictures. Pet beds. What's here? Wireless Bluetooth keyboards, that's not bad. There's about 10 of those wireless keyboards in here. Yep, pull-up bar, a couple of them. About 10 pull-up bars. What is this, a Guitar Hero guitar? A little damage. Um, when you're desperate for inventory, you just buy whatever you can. Laptop table, artwork just for you. This is, looks like one of those, another bottle sterilizer. That might have some value to it. That might have a little bit of value. Maybe 50 bucks, maybe. Looks like a bunch of Walmart stuff in here. Dispenser with stand. I think those are the sanitizer dispensers with stands. So it's just a lot of different volume. It's a bunch of different stuff. These are, uh, these are like adult diapers. If you can get them cheap enough, they're worth buying. They're worth seeking out. You know, I'm not, I mean, I paid $5,000 for this load. I'm not sure if it's a good load yet or not. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be hurt too bad if it's not, you know, but, but my good loads just keep cons consistently coming in. I'm still getting my Amazon Smalls consistently coming in. This week they came in with a lot of electronics. So those electronics filled up my big store. I didn't have to send them to the bin store, but the bin store got some really good merchandise this week because it was mostly electronics. God, I gotta, I gotta be better, man. I gotta be better. Update you on my B-Stock situation. Remember, uh, B-Stock gave me uh, a $10,000 credit because I bought all these Amazon orders before Christmas and a bunch of them got canceled and they gave me a $10,000 credit. Um, and so it was in my account and that's why I bought the $15,000 target load, which I'm glad I did because I will buy future $15,000 target loads uh, because it was such great, all the electronics were great. They called me up afterwards and said they gave it to me on error after I already spent the $10,000. So then they, they, their customer service must be in like Britain or something because I kept getting international calls, but I was ignoring them, ignoring them, ignoring them. Uh, and uh, you know, they want me to pay them back the $10,000. today. I got an email saying, look at this great B-Stock Amazon load, right? So I went and clicked on it because it's only at 20 miles from my, uh, my store. And when I clicked on it, there's a big error warning or a big message on there that says, you are no longer allowed to bid on B-Stock until you resolve these issues. <laughs> so they want me to pay them back to 10,000, which I get, I'm gonna pay them back. I'm not that guy, I'm gonna pay them back, but I just want to let them uh, live a little bit in pain, right? Let it take a little bit longer than normal to pay them back. So, but now I can't bid, so I gotta, I gotta pay them.